What is going on you Jamstones? Connor Kendrick here back with another video because today I just got a package in the mail and it's from, you guessed it, freaking So I just bought these shoes with the intention of creating a custom shoe project with them. Show you what we're working with here. We got a Nike blazer. I know all the haters are already going to be chirping because yes, it is a mid but we went with this white and maroon canvas. I was really, really torn between getting maroon or getting an orange silhouette. So it'd be like completely the same white, but this maroon right here would be orange and so would this back tab. And I think that's pretty much the only difference. And I ended up going with the maroon because I think it just goes a lot better with my wardrobe. Uh, I wear a lot of neutral clothes, so I think it being aged will look really well with most of the stuff I kind of wear, so there's that. I didn't see how sick this tongue looked online, but I'm kind of digging this off-white fabric. Uh, pretty cool touch. It also has like this gray like accent around here. So for this project, I'm going to be getting one of my good friends help on this. His name is Vic Almighty. If you guys don't know him already, he is this infamous customizer, restorer, content creator, actor, and one of my good homies. I'm stoked to get this project started with Vic tomorrow. Hopefully you guys can learn something through this process um, instead of just like watch me. And if you guys want to age your own shoes, it's just a matter of finding all the right materials and putting in like a little effort to make your shoes sick. Speaking of materials, you guys, Vic told me to pick up some coffee. This is the main element we'll be using, but we'll get into more of that tomorrow with Vic, because he's a pro. We don't want to steal his glory. I want him to kind of guide the way. I'm here just to enjoy and learn the process, and hopefully you guys can learn something too. So, talk again soon. It's time to get to work, you guys. I'm here at Rejuvenator's headquarters with my boy Vic. What's going on, everybody? I'm Vic Almighty. It's nice to see Connor on the other side of the camera. Usually he's always filming me. This time, it's kind of the opposite. Sorry for being your dojo, man. I know you got a lot of important projects going on. That's all good, bro. These are just some car mines. Don't worry, man. This project's gonna be way more important. You know I've been talking about it for weeks now. Weeks, bro, try a year. I've been so pumped to do an aging custom. I've seen Vic do it a million times, different ways. I've been seeing it online. It looks so good to me. And I've just been inspired by all these different things to make a pair for myself. That's right, man. So again, the aging concept is a brilliant idea. I love that theme. I've done it on so many different shoes like Connor just said. This is actually one that I'm working on. So Jordan Carmine Sixes. These released this year, but I'm trying to make it look like they released in 91. There's different ways to go about aging a shoe. You can take it the direction where the shoe looks old, distressed, and beat up, or you can take the direction where it's aged, but still brand new looking. Connor, what do you think of these shoes? Yeah, man, like you said, there's so many different ways to go about it. That's why we're here with you. I want you to kind of lead the way on this one. Well, for one, this is the perfect base shoe. I love the blazer. These came out back in the 70s. If you go on Google, you can actually find a lot of pictures to reference of an actual age blazer, you know? So you can take it that route. You try to make it look identical to an actual 70s release, or you can take it a different direction where the shoe is completely beat up. So there's a couple of different things you can do. I think the middle ground approach is a good way to start. How would you introduce the different elements to the shoe? I like that, man. So for sure, there's a lot of different things we can play with on the shoe. We'll definitely be aging these midsoles. They gotta be yellow. All eight shoes have aged yellow rubber. So we'll be doing that. Totally agree. One of the things that I love doing when it comes to aging shoes is giving the entire shoe a permanent green look. That's by using the cotton. You know? So we'll be doing that. We'll be aging these midsoles. Same thing with the suede. The suede's a little bit too brandy looking. It's gotta have more of a creamish tone. We'll be doing that. The tongues already have that aged look, so we don't have to do anything to that. I love that. So Vic took a look at these puppies earlier today and did bring up one small issue that we might be facing during this custom. You wanna let them know? I'll let them know, Connor. Me and Connor ordered these shoes on Nike. We thought the shoe was straight up leather. Once they came in, we realized that the swoosh is actually not a suede. That's a problem. Once you put the shoe inside the tank of water full of coffee, there's a good chance that the suede dye is gonna bleed from the swoosh all over the white leather, the white stitching, all around. We don't know what's gonna happen. So it's either gonna work out perfectly, we're gonna have a perfectly cream aged shoe, or we're gonna have a completely ruined red dye shoe all around. So it's a 50 50 chance it's gonna work out, but I'm ready to risk it for the biscuit. What do you think, Connor? Dude, I say we roll the dice. We're too far in. I like the look. We're just gonna go for it.
Yo Cuts, check it out. Dude, this looks so savvy, man. I'm so glad with what you were able to do with the design. Thanks again, brother. Got you. So we are back from the laser engraver. Shout out to my boy Jules for hooking this up and doing his thing with the design. But yeah, long time coming here to get this project done. We actually had to put it on the shelf for a long time. <laughs> a long time, One couple weeks, months. six months, I don't know, somewhere in between there. Well, back to what you were saying. Julian did a great job on the cuts, laser engraved area. For those of you who don't know, we call Connor cuts around here. He's just always cutting stuff up. He's always just chopping fruit. <laughs> Originally, he had this other idea, it was kind of poo poo. Julian went in, upgraded the design, put the cuts inside this logo, came out real crispy. Juby the Jets is the man, he's always helping me out with my projects. It's cool to see him help out with your project, bro. Jules really did his thing, man. But now we're on to the final touches. Why don't you let us know what they are? That's right. So again, we're aging the shoe. We're trying to make it look like it's from back in the 70s when the blazer originally came out. The next step we gotta do is grab our Fox Shot uniform stainer. We need to hit the entire outsole with, you know, a yellow tint to make it look more of a vintage shoe. Again, we wanna make it look like it's from back in the 70s. That means the shoe needs to be all yellowed and cream looking. If we want it darker, we'll add more. If we want it lighter, we'll wipe some off. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the first shoe, show you how it's done, and then the second shoe, you can go add. <laughs> These shoes turned out sick, dude. I just want to say thank you again for all, all your help on this project. You know I've been wanting to do a pair of customs of my own, basically, since we started working together. Yeah, I mean, it's been like two years since we've been working together. Since day one, he's been wanting a custom. This is the perfect shoe for it. He loves the blazers. He likes that vintage vibe. I've been doing that a lot in the last year. He's picked up on that. Shout out to Juby and the Jets, man. Yeah. Juby and the Jets really did a cool job with this. And dude, I'm just happy to be, you know, help you out with your first custom. For sure, man. Yeah, shout out to Juby, like he said, and shout out to the rest of the team for stepping in, getting shots where I needed them to. Johnny, just, Miguel. Johnny, Miguel, Fran, even. Everybody kind of got uh, involved in this project at some point. Yeah, man. It's been a great ride, but I'm ready for this project to finally be over, and I can't wait to start rocking it on my feet. Let's wrap it up, man. Let's lace them up.